Again, a reminder, coming up shortly, the Chicago Bulls, the league's leading scorer, and Michael Jordan, who's averaging 36.7 points per game, travel to Milwaukee to take on the Bucks, who have outscored their opponents this season by over three points per contest. And again, so I'm Charlie Neal. Thanks for watching. NBA Basketball is next. The Milwaukee Bucks boast one of the best trapping defenses in the league. They prove they can do it, once holding Michael Jordan to a season low 11 points. But can they do it again? Can they corral these powerful legs? Can they break the concentration reflected in these eyes? Can they contain the NBA's most explosive player one more time? The Bucks and the Bulls, next. It became personal with me. TBS Sports presents NBA Basketball, America's Game. TBS Sports coverage of the NBA is brought to you. from the Mecca in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Two playoff-bound teams, the Milwaukee Bucks and the Chicago Bulls. Hi, everybody. This is Bob Neal, along with John McLaughlin, and they're getting down to the wire in the Eastern Conference, and John, what a very interesting Another. Eastern Conference you look at this game is. tonight, stopping Jordan from Milwaukee. On stopping the... Michael Jordan. A wish and a Hershey bar, I think, is about all it takes. The Bucks will double-team him. They'll try to push him outside, which most people hope that We're at works. the Mecca in Milwaukee, 34th sellout out of 39 games here this year. There will be 11,000 plus as the Bucks, for the first time in the last eight years will not win uh, the division championship, but they are shooting for 50 wins once right, again. Let's look at the lineups now. First of all, for the visiting Chicago Bulls, notice here a change in the lineup. Oakley, Corzine, Jordan, and Paxson normal, but Elston Turner, John, starting there at a forward position. Right, and Doug's doing that for a strategy situation. He knows that Paul Pressey is very important to the ball handling of the Milwaukee Bucks. He feels Elston Turner a good defensive player with good quickness will play him defensively better than Oakley. So that's why the change. Not only an excellent first-year head coach, he's got these Bulls with 10 more wins than they had last year, but a very personable young man who loves what he's doing, and he's an excellent game coach. Going to be around a long time. Now the Milwaukee Bucks and the dean of coaches who stayed with the franchise longest, Don Nelson, will start Sigma and Pressy, Brewer at center, and we've discussed that. Ricky Pierce, who had been a six-man, but is starting here toward the end of the year at the off guard position and John Lucas the point guard and Don Nelson 11 years with the Milwaukee Bucks and what a job he's done and when it gets playoff times this man and his basketball team are going to be tough I think they could turn into a dark horse of sorts as they get into the play up tonight it'll be interesting to see Elston Turner and Pressy matching up and of course also big seven foot three inch Randy Brewer at the center against Dave Corzine Brewer out of Minnesota Corzine from DePaul the Mecca in Milwaukee. One key to this ball game that, that they feel on both sides is tempo. I believe that may be a stolen tip by Chicago Bucks. Jack Sigma. A trade for Alton Lister. Sigma providing offense from the outside. Open scoring for Milwaukee. Terry Cummings not in the starting lineup. Pierce from outside. Misses from long range. And the loose ball control by Michael Jordan. Bulls can take the lead. Turner. Four points as a run passing. Even though he's still about 40% of their offense. What a great time to Lucas. Left-handed penetration by John Lucas. He can't get Terry Cummings into the game. He's missing some precious playing time. Looking for Jordan down low. Paxson gets him open, but it's tipped away. A nice defensive move by Preston. You go down to Cummings, Moncrief, and Hodges coming off the bench. That's a pretty strong elite eight there. Jordan. Beautiful move on the double bump. And the first blood drawn in the hoop by Michael Jordan, the NBA scoring champion. He's already wrapped that up. Such a great player. Bulls have their first lead, 8-6. Make each guy know what he should do. Shot clock gets down to seven seconds that time. They were a little disoriented. Terry Cummings, leading scorer on this team, handling the ball. 
Now, Milwaukee will run a lot of isolation offense like that. Ricky Pierce is so strong inside, has been all year long. They look for him off the ball. Ricky Pierce, a lot of people think, will be voted sixth man of the year, even though this is his 29th start. He remains eligible for that award. Type of move. Here's a young man that doesn't possess the great skills, but works hard at offense right now. Yes. Pierce gets past Jordan. There's help from Corzine, but Jordan steals the ball. It's Bulls by two. Michael attacking. Foul as he drives. Foul. Not much else you can do with Jordan if he gets inside the paint. Well, and you might expect Jordan's going to get to the line quite a bit because of that ability to get to the basket. But the th sometimes he's so creative, he gets away from the contest. You always talk about Michael Jordan's offense, but take a look at the D, John. Well, you talk to his coach, Doug Collins, and he will tell you he is an outstanding defensive player, and they've seen him perform this type of effort time after time. And look, his defense creates the offense, and the best offense is Michael Jordan in a one-on-two or three situation. And he gets to the line. And you look at the steal, second in the NBA in steals, and Michael <laughs> Jordan blocks a shot and a half a game. You know, you're just talking about a great athlete, and that's why he's so good at every area of this game. You know, it reminds me a little bit of Sugar Ray Robinson coming off of that fight uh, just recently. People might relate to this because he plays in flurries. Sugar Ray, uh, Sugar Ray, Ray Leonard, Leonard, excuse right. me, uh, because, he, because he plays in flurries. Michael, those Jordan. flurries are enough. Aren't oh, they? And they're damaging, yeah. yeah. You get him against a rope a little bit, and all of a sudden he comes out firing at you. Well, and the Bucks only 39% at this point, and the Bulls 55 from the field. Three-point Bulls lead, 6.26 to go, first quarter. Speaking of that Sugar Ray Leonard Hagler fight, hmm. what a. Did you get to the six, which would be their largest of this game? Jordan's open and hitting. Michael Jordan. Off the missed Corzine bank shot attempt on three. Bucks can pull to within two. Cummings, a line drive. 16-14, Chicago inbounded with a new shot clock. And scored 53 yesterday. Free throw. Michael Jordan. See the isolation. Give it to Michael Jordan. Eight points for Jordan. Didn't fall. We've got a foul on Elston Turner. Jordan will just underlay a bit, but this is the jump shot. See how they isolate him? Now, when he has the jumper going like this, those are the nights he's capable of getting 50 and 60 with the loose ball rebound. Bressy with the jam. Oh, my. That's why he's called the point forward. He's very capable of taking it all the way on good penetration and quickness. Here comes Michael Jordan against Hodges and Sigma. <laughs> Launch. Launch that man. What can you say? Good defense starts excellent offense. Coming from the perimeter. Now, this is what we talked about, about defending Jordan. They want to try to play him inside, but look at the good screen, and the Bucks want to push him outside and then overplay. Once he gets it, back off and gamble on the three. He replaced Paxson. Cummings makes Corzine out of the gym and then hits from 15. Well, Dave had to go in, and then you hope you get more help. One minute left in the first quarter. Jordan saw a slice of an open on the baseline. And before you could see it, he was jamming it, and he's fouled. I don't know that I've ever watched any player that's more enjoyable than this man right here. And when you watch him play, you realize, as I was an ex-player that certainly could not jump at all and had no quickness, it makes me realize how much easier this game would have been had you had that type of jumping ability and quickness. Brewer into the ball game. Sigma taking a rest for Milwaukee now. So it's Cummings and Brewer and Pressy, the forwards. Hodges and Moncrief for the guards. Shot clock to seven. Cummings. That's, right. That's what Doug Collins was concerned about. The Bucks' isolation game and how to give help. Explained it was an athletic conference. Oh, with that baby face, they wouldn't follow you around. <laughs> Here comes Michael, has three on the right, pulls up, gets the bounce at the buzzer. 15 first quarter points for Michael Jordan, and the Bulls lead by nine. Well, when the 
big men try to put the ball on the floor and take it to the basket, the little guys will take it away from them and score perhaps, as the Bulls do in this situation, perhaps only Ralph Sampson would get away with putting it on the floor in that situation. Uh, uh, Bill Fitch would disagree a little yeah. bit with him. <laughs> Second quarter, Bulls lead by nine. Opening moments. So they'll three, gets it to Michael Jordan on the reverse. Doesn't go, but Corzine's there, loses it out of bounds. Milwaukee ball. For Doug's team to come in here and get a good quick start. Hodges for three. He's had to adjust his game this year. He's done an excellent job at doing that. And from the three pointers, the more consistent playing time you get, the better you'll shoot them. There's an interesting one for you. Jordan, uh, three with the loose ball foul. Jordan feeding Corzine inside out. Except, you know, Corzine likes that little jumper, and, you know, he's not the kind of guy that's going to go in and jump over you. So he has to settle for the outside. Right, tonight, Hodges over Corzine. And I want to tell you, he is fouled. He knows that he took it down. Ricky Pierce to Moncrief. Faking the move, and here's McKeskey from the baseline. Well, he surprised the Milwaukee fans with his baseline jumper. Well, they love him here. Uh, he's a Milwaukee-type player. He digs in, he plays hard for them, and in the past, he's hit that jumper very well. Brad Sellers, by the way, in for Chicago currently, wears number six. Elston Turner picks up the foul. The dead ball foul. And Turner just came in the game for uh, Michael Jordan. The foul went on uh, Brad Sellers, I believe. Yes, the foul went to Brad Sellers, his first. In tonight's game, John and I will be selecting the Miller Lite player of the game. There's Ricky Pierce with his 88%. He's second on this team. He's had a great year. He's uh, very difficult to handle offensively. He does a good job at defense. The Bucks use him primarily running off screens under the basket. Last play by Hodges. Milwaukee can tie it with a three-pointer here. 8.57 to go first half. Lob to Brewer. The 7-3 center lays it in. Now see, that was a call play. Almost stripped away by Elston Turner. Turner did everything he could do to stop Ricky Pierce. Hodges with the steal. Pierce with a lay-in. And the Bucks have taken the lead. They trail by nine as we begin this quarter. And you see the important. He's improved rapidly. Bulls by one. And here's the isolation game. The Bucks will run. So the Bulls come with the help, but Terry Cummings gets away from it to the base. Looking for help. Shot clock to seven. All of a sudden, Jordan's open. Well, that's not the right man to lose on defense. <laughs> Everybody's got everybody, and one red jersey blazes out of there, and he's got a black 23 on the chest. It's like the crook seeing Superman, right? <laughs> Paxson back in the ball game. Bad pass. Pierce. Now, see, that was one of those turnovers. Always could be controversial, but I think Chicago's got to get a real big league point guard before they can go any place. And I think Chicago also needs another strong scoring big man. Right. If they need two key players. Uh, and if you're going to carry that, <laughs> we may get ridiculous here, but look at Mike outside. Michael. He'd probably like a, a center as well. <laughs> well, three quick number ones, and Chicago could be right well, there uh, playing uh, L.A. and Boston and Atlanta. Right? That's a turnover. No, almost turnover, but that's going to be a foul on Michael. You know, that sounds more harsh than we mean for it to be because these men have done a great job. However, those are some weak areas. Look, see, the double team came up. Michael beats the double team, which was Terry Cummings, to the baseline. And he beats it with individual effort as opposed to beating it by hitting an open man or something. He can slide right through that. I, I have never seen a player that can beat double teams better than that Michael is the productive scoring pass out of the double team. Yeah. Uh, but one thing that helps on the productive pass are the teammates moving to the open spots for the productive pass. They've got to be cutting to the basket, not just fading away for jump shots. And that requires the supporting cast. You know, that's an area where Akeem Olajuwon still is, is, has to improve when he's doubled up to make that pass for the basket. Although, if I'm a coach and I know I got a guy as good as Michael Jordan and that he might get a little better, that sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Bucks 
had led by one, and Jordan puts the Bulls up by one, and Michael has 21 points. Ten to go, second quarter. Sigma in the paint. Bucks back to the lead. It's seesaw time at the Mecca and talking about Michael Jordan's 21 points, and he's got the 21 shooting 60 percent. He's had a number of jump shots also. Bucks can go up by three or more here. Pressy for three. And the Bucks go up by four. Many people don't play him for that, but I've seen him make it a number of times, and it will surprise some teams. One next to it, he said, I had a problem with it. Cummings from the line. He was open because Jack Sigma set a screen. Pressy with a rebound. Outlet Cummings. Beautiful play to Lucas. Cummings with great port awareness, eyes in the back of his head. Two super alert outlet passes. First by Pressy, then by Cummings. Four percent of the year from the field. Didn't look like it on that shot, did it? Lucas with the penetration. Lucas has eight. Evenly balanced game. Second half will be interesting to see the adjustments coming here. Jordan. Not a bad play by John Lucas. He didn't undercut Jordan, but he certainly used his body as well as you can to stop the score. Although it disappointed the fans a little because everybody comes to see yes, Michael yes. Jam even in Milwaukee. 106 to go, second quarter. Look at Oakley and Terry Cummings. You think it's uh, not a little physical out there? Now, Oakley goes with it a little bit. Cummings pushes him. Oakley tries to draw the foul and doesn't get it. Cummings comes back for a quick post-up, double up, and then throws the ball away. Charles Oakley's not going to be pushed over by many players in the league, one of the strongest NBA players. And Granville Waiters, also out of Ohio State University, comes in for Charles Oakley for the Bulls. That's to give Oakley a little rest and also counter the big guys of the Milwaukee Bucks with Sigma and Brewer. Defensive teams and offensive teams. A little like football, huh? Platooning in basketball. That's tough. Here's with 13 the dead ball at the right him. time. Same with Dudley Bradley, who's an outstanding defensive player. Lead at the half by one, 57, 56. Well, these and uh, yet they still played very much to a standoff in the first half. Jordan, of course, John McLaughlin has 22, which surprises He's nobody. A seven footer, he is a big man, but yep. he may not be the answer in that regard. No, he weighs 212 pounds with his clothes on, I'm sure. So he's not going to be the big man to play the strong inside game for you and be a pivot man. That's why they use him as a forward. And, and even though he's seven feet, makes him a tall forward. In other respects, he plays like a small forward. <laughs> One team shot in the 60s in one quarter, and the other one didn't, and vice versa, and so it evened out. Final two quarters. That ball slippery here to open the second half. Pierce with a 60-point feed from Lucas, starting the second half also. Corzine, Oakley, Turner, Paxson, and Jordan. Oakley looked away from the ball, caught it right in the shoulder. Pierce now with 18 on the Chicago turnover. Doug Collins quoted in the NBA publication about how much he's enjoyed his first year as an NBA head coach. He said, I am not a yeller. I don't want to humiliate guys. You know, some coaches will lose it a little bit. Nice pass. Look away from Jordan to Corzine to Turner. Oakley with the offensive foul. Offensive. Big Brewer getting his big body in front of Big Oakley and a lot of bigness coming together. Randy Brewer weighs 260 pounds. Oakley weighs 245. <laughs> more than 500 pounds there. It's probably more than Kim before his diet. Our producer is looking slim and trim, getting himself into playing shape for the playoffs. Yeah. Sigma from the perimeter. Sigma does a good job of popping back for that jumper. Doug Collins, he wants to get control right now. 
63-56 Milwaukee, 9.55 to go, third quarter. Oh, some turnovers. They're very protective with the ball, but so is Chicago normal. There you go, Pressy, and the point off the turnover. That's four turnovers and eight points for Milwaukee, and it's 65-56, Bucks by nine, matching their biggest lead of the game. Both of these clubs averaged 15 and a half turnovers a game. No one there, his man was out top, too late. Not a real strong chance of that. Here's Jordan. <laughs> hey, you know, the way they take him out of the color booth, I've got a shot at it, huh? You got it. And Jordan oh, with Oakley. the miss and the tip from Oakley. Well, now, was it back? Here's Sellers on the ball game, who had a good offensive second quarter. Jordan gets wow. hammered. Bucks foul is on number 25, Paul Preston. is on pressing. Two on pressing. The first one What's his play? Here. That's hang time, people. Oh. However, of course, the officials don't have the NFL instant replay available to them. How about that for the NBA, John? Excuse me, I... I instant replay? Oh, NBA? What do you think? I don't like it. No, I don't I, even I, like it in the NFL. Yeah, I, I don't think I would like to see it. You know, I was going to make a comment, too. Earl Strom's one of a few officials still around when I played a long time ago. I loved playing in his games. I felt like I always knew pretty much what he expected of me and, and what I could do and what I couldn't do, and he communicated with me. I liked that. Pressy. Paul Pressy. On the cut. Chicago having trouble solving the Milwaukee defense. The sellers open on the perimeter if they can find it. They do. And he scores. So they've got to move the ball and knock down the jumpers because that time Michael was triple teamed. Here's a look at that triple team you're talking about. Okay, the ball will go in. Lucas will come in. Cummings will come in. Look. Number leave 10. Sellers open at the top. John That's Lucas. the best shot of the choices Lucas. that Michael had. Interesting. Before the game, we talked to Don Nelson, who's always very cooperative with the media, and talked to us about his game. And one of the questions I asked him we were going to use is, how do you defense Michael Jordan? Because these, these Bucks held Jordan to 11 points in Chicago, his season low. And he says, are you kidding me? I'm going to tell you on national TV how I defense Michael Jordan. No thanks. <laughs> I alluded earlier to Michael Jordan, reminding me sometimes of Sugar Ray Leonard, the way he plays in flurries. <laughs> this game. Cummings over Sellers. And mild mannered Doug Collins, not so mild at the moment, as it's a nine point Milwaukee lead, 6.07 to go, third quarter. Still have to credit the Milwaukee defense. The Bulls can't seem to get a shot away without a couple of people hanging on Jordan, sometimes three. And then it's somebody in everybody else's face, too. Well, if you have three people on Michael, that tells you someone's open for the Chicago Bulls, and when they get the ball, they've got to stick it. It's like playing a box and one in college. Well, at the other end, we've seen a lot of jump shots. That's defense. That's the difference there, and the Bucks getting layups off of turnovers. And here comes Sidney Moncrief for Paul Pressing. I think it's important to note one of the things the Bucks are playing for in these final three games is that 50 win season. They want to get another one, and if they win two of these final three games, they will have 50 wins again this year. Here's the goals for the Bulls in seven minutes here in this quarter. Foul. Milwaukee foul. That'll be the third team foul in Milwaukee. On six. Second person. He has two. On the box. Pressy has three for Milwaukee. Paxson three for Chicago. Nobody in foul trouble. Here come the Bucks. Nice play by Jordan. <laughs> Jordan got it ahead to Oakley. Oakley fed Michael, and Michael will go to the free throw line. Well, that's the defense Doug Collins has talked about all year long. Watch. Michael Jordan. Now look, this, he starts his own fast break, makes the pass, and Oakley with the beauty here. It's a big man doing that. Hey. And the Bucks alter the shot. They don't give up three. Jordan three out of three from the line in this quarter. Now he's four out of four and has 26 on the night. 
Michael Jordan's shooting percentage from the field, not bad, 9 out of 21, just slightly below 50%. You know, you think about him. He's he's about 40% of their offense, and he shoots 48% on the year. That means he's taking a lot of difficult, bad shots, shots at the buzzer. He would be a 52, 53% shooter probably if he could just take the shots that he wanted all the time. What an effort by Oakland. He is always on the glass. He couldn't get control, but he tapped it out for control. Jordan is fouled as he that's Sidney Moncrief with the personal. Sydney Moncrief. And that is the 15th foul on Milwaukee. They're in the penalty, and Jordan will go to the line again. Bulls have only two team fouls. Now, that's a good point, and that's a reverse of the last quarter when the Bucks went to the line early. That's, that's opportunity time for the team that gets there first. Therefore, don't stand around and shoot jump shots. Go to the basket so that you have a chance to get to the line also. It's 10-point Bucks lead. Bucks led by one at the half. Three fifty one to go, third quarter. Double team on Cummings. Nice play by Corzine ahead to Jordan. Okay, look at Sedale. Oh. Stripped away, and Jordan controls. Sedale three, who came to the Bulls from Philadelphia for Steve Coulter, is playing better as the season progresses for this team. Bucks lead over the Bulls, 2.16 to go in this quarter. We learned that Atlanta and Indiana are now tied. Here's Turner. On creep with a big basket for the Bucks. Oh, what a career he's had in Milwaukee. Three. Long range. Corzine kept it alive, but the shot clock's to three. Got it away, but missed it. The tip by Jordan. Oh, what an effort. He came from under the basket. Michael Short. That wasn't pretty, but they'll take it. And we've got a Milwaukee foul. Yeah. Yes. Someone really nailed Michael Jordan. It may have been Paul Preston. Yes. Watch Jordan work on the offensive board here. No one really blocks him out. And look at that left-handed tip. Two after trailing by 12 in this, the third quarter. Jordan pulls the Bulls to within two. 80-78. And Jordan has 34. What a They've changed their defense. Their defense has been extremely good the last, what, four or five minutes. How did Moncrief ever get that shot off? He was double teamed, and Corzine flew in his face as he shot it. Well, the Bulls have been in control of the boards all night long, and now they're getting some key offensive rebounds, and they've done that off and on throughout this second half. You see, Jordan hit 15, rested for seven, hit 12. Now, if that stays uh, down, he's only going to get six or seven in this quarter, but I don't think no. that, that will hold true. I don't know. Corzine takes a rest. Jordan isolated against a double team. <laughs> and just looking for the opening. Finds three, but he misses it. Beautiful play by Chicago. They couldn't get it to drop. Stripped away by Jordan. Blocked by Sellers. Bulls step on the baseline. John Lucas found it exactly right. Doesn't get the bounce, but Cummings is there. Banged away by three. There's going to be a foul. And it's on Sedale. The value of offensive rebounds on the missed shot because Terry Cummings was there. Look at the pushing and shoving and Cummings gaining good position, much stronger than Sellers. Hodges for three. Over Paxson. The ball. Here comes three. Paxson has it blocked by Cummings. Jordan's there to steal it. And finger roll at home. 36 for Michael. He's aware of where the ball is, Michael Jordan. Michael with that defensive effort. Bulls by two. Jordan. Oh. Oh. Sickman with the personal. The Bulls defense has been just superb, and they've taken the Bucks away inside. There's the block, and look, Sigma really throws it right to Michael, and Sigma normally very sure passer. Not in that case. 
Michael Jordan at the line for Chicago. As many times as I've seen this man play basketball, I'm constantly amazed at his full court game. For Chicago, there is no single player I can ever think of to be totally dominant in so many areas. You have to be aware of where he is at all times. Look at this. And the Bulls after this game have two games remaining. So if Michael just hits at his average of 36.7 per game, he's going to join that very thin air club of 3,000 points in a single season. You don't see many men 6'5 dominate the game like Michael Jordan does. Pulled out by four with 7.37 to go in the game. Pressy on the drive and the basket. A three-point opportunity for Paul Pressy. Gene Banks has played very few minutes for Chicago tonight. Normally a very fine defensive forward. Well, we've got ourselves a ball game here, folks. 6.55 remaining. Bulls 92, Bucks 89. There's a good shot of John McLaughlin, who uh, during the commercial timeouts doubles his mascot for the Bucks. Well, that is the job they offered me when I retired, but I talked him into another one. <laughs> there he is. There's John Bango, the Buck. <laughs> Bango. Bulls 92, Bucks 89. John McLaughlin's number retired, hanging here at the Mecca, along with the. Uh, some other very famous numbers, particularly that number one, Oscar, Oscar Robertson. Oscar Robertson. For Chicago in particular. And 17 of those Chicago rebounds belong to Oakley. Big turnover. And Jordan coming up with the ball. Bulls by three. And a gum chopper. A what? A gum chopper. <laughs> That's a Hoosier term. Yeah, right oh, sure. Comes. Jordan battling, but Sigma winning that battle. Bulls by five. Cummings. Big bucket for Terry Cummings. Maybe. <laughs> Shot clock down to nine. Cummings. Another big bucket from Terry Cummings. And it's a one-point Bulls lead. 5-11 remaining. Cummings spinning off. There's that Milwaukee defense. Let's see what they do against it. They get it to Jordan, who's double teamed, but comes out of nowhere. <laughs> double teamed the, tr the third man coming over to help, and he goes up in between them. 38 to go in this ball game. Chicago, if there's been any single thing in my view, John, that they've dominated in the game, it's been right there, and that's on the rebound. Oh, no question. And they've played some good defense when they've had to. And look, Michael Jordan for the layoff. Oh. Timeout Milwaukee, trailing by seven. There have been a 15-point turnaround since the midway point of the third quarter. Here is vintage Jordan. Go get the ball. Now watch the double team. He has just a little bit of room on the baseline. Look, tippy toes around it and explodes to the basket. There was a triple team on him when he hit it. Now look, contact. He stays with it, then finally beats the contact. Sigma comes over for help, and he still makes the shot over a seven-footer. 42 points tonight for Michael Jordan and eight rebounds. Yes, a tough shot because of the defense. And Oakley there for the rebound. Oakley with 18 rebounds. 100 to 93 Bulls, 250 remaining. Big defensive series here for Milwaukee. Nine seconds on the clock. Jordan. Oh, he's on fire. They're going to have to call engine company number five over from downtown Milwaukee if they're going to try to cool him off. Michael Jordan now with 44 points. Just when it's a big defensive effort time for Milwaukee, here's what Jordan does to you. Well, when he has his jumper going, what are you going to do with it? I mean, when you can't fall off of him and push him to the outside, how do you play the man? I don't have the answer. He loses this game tonight. They will end up in fourth place in the Eastern Conference. Correct. Stripped away from Sigma, and it's Michael Jordan with the foul. That's his fifth. Nine-point game, 2.33 in the NBA. A lot of time remaining. Hard, and they've had to come from behind. Lucas with the drive and the hoop. They let him go, didn't foul him. Intelligent defensive. That's, that's good. Did that, yeah, no, I help like me. that. Yeah, help that, that, me, that makes me. sense. That leaves Oakley open. And that was at the buzzer on the shot clock for three. Oh, that's a big one by Craig Hodges. His third three-pointer of the night, 104-98. 
Jordan hammered hard as he drives. But that's what he does so well at the end of the game in addition to just hitting the buckets. That's five on Sigma. Is Jordan takes it to the hoop and makes you foul him. Well, and when you're that quick and when you can jump this well, you can get above people. Look, Sigma comes over, goes up as high as he can, and still has to hit Jordan on the arm because he takes it back. Look at this. And this is a great defensive player with Jordan, but Jordan is just too good. Michael Jordan has Teflon-coated skin. Or else is, he beat a hospital. <laughs> what a pounding he takes. He does. That's 45 for Jordan tonight. And remember, he's coming off a 53-point performance just yesterday afternoon at Chicago. As much as we see him when we cover the NBA, we still marvel at what he accomplishes each time. It's why the fans line up early when Chicago comes to town. Bressie, Milwaukee hanging right in here. Just like the snap of the finger, it's a five-point game. The Bucks still have a shot at it, but they must contain the Bulls. Turner with a shot clock down to eight. They get it to Michael. Against the double team. He hits Sellers. Well, when the Bulls have needed it, they've come in with layups. Assist from Jordan. Sellers with a big basket. Seven-point Bulls lead. Shot for the game clock down to 104. Cummings. It's still in the coffin. Not seven points, 33 seconds left. Hodges for three. He's four for four. Unconscious. It's a four-point game with 29 seconds remaining. What a pass by Pressy to get that up to Hodges. Jordan is fouled. 19 seconds remaining. That's all they could do. Both teams in the penalty. Well, Jordan's an 86% shooter from the line. I saw him come in here in Milwaukee one night when he was injured and in a promotion the Bucks had and he went out on this promotion in 24 seconds and he made nine free throws with his sport coat on in 24 seconds. Proving to be an intelligent foul now. This is a four point game. 19 seconds remaining. Five point game. Bulls leading by five. 19 seconds remaining. Small now. Cummings with a reverse, three-point game, 15 seconds left. Cummings almost got it away from Jordan, but the foul and Michael will go to the line with 46 points and an opportunity for two more. 13 seconds to go in the game. There's Neil Three with 10 assists in this ball game. Since he's come in, he's really been a factor in favor of the Chicago turnaround. Three had seven assists and 10 points in only 26 minutes yesterday. He is slowly but surely becoming Chicago's point guard in crunch time. 47 for Jordan. That's 100 points in less than 24 hours for Michael Jordan in the NBA. You know, that would be difficult to do against a seventh grade team for most of us. <laughs> 48. Jordan for the potential for a 50 point game here. Hodges for three. Misses it this time. Michael with the ball. And he's fouled. If he hits them both, Michael Jordan will have back to back 50s. <laughs> Unbelievable. Bernard King. Had back to back. Not back to back. I'm certain Will Chamberlain. Well, I'm not certain Will Chamberlain may have had, but I don't even recall that. Watching Michael in a situation like this, if you saw both of these games, it, I don't know if that, that would be comparable to seeing Will score 100, but this certainly has to be up there at the top of the list with it. Jordan with 48, 49. And we're going to have to talk now about the Miller Lite player of the game. Yeah, how do you not give it to a man who gets 50 points in a ball game? Well, he got 50. I mean, come on. <laughs> I guess the election is over. Bulls lead by seven at the buzzer. That won't count. Bulls have beaten the Bucks and have won the season series 4-2 to two for the first time in 10 years.